Hello, in this video I will show you how to install Python 3.5 with NumPy, SciPy and Matplotlib on a macOS computer. Because many Python packages are essentially developed on Linux and depend on native code, compiling these packages on a different OS like macOS and Windows was always a challenge. A possible solution is to use a Python distribution like Miniconda which will provide us many Python packages already compiled for different operating systems. Miniconda will install a minimal Python system on your machine that can be further customized to meet your needs. We'll start by downloading Miniconda for macOS. Be sure to pick the Python 3.5 installer. Once the download is finished, open a terminal window and go to your downloads folder. Now we can start the installation by writing bash and the name of the installer file. Next, I will accept the license and the default installer settings. At this point, we can choose if you want to add Miniconda to our path. I will choose yes. Close and reopen your terminal in order for the settings to take effect. Modern Python development favors the use of virtual environments. Miniconda will create a new environment with the conda create command. Here, we can specify the Python version we want to use. This will allow us to have different environments with different Python versions and different installed packages. Once an environment is created, we can activate it with the source activate the name of your environment command. Once activated, your prompt will change to indicate the name of your current environment, which is my env in this case. Now, we can install the packages that we need using the conda install command. For the purpose of this video, I will install numpy, scipy and matplotlib. The installation could take some time depending on the speed of your internet connection and your computer. A small warning, if later you restart your Mac or close and reopen your terminal, the environment will be deactivated by default. In order to be able to use it, don't forget to activate it with source activate my env. Ok, we are done with the installation. Let's fire up the Python interpreter and do some tests. First, I'll import SciPy. I can check the version of SciPy installed by Miniconda with the sp.version.version command. Now, let's define a square matrix and do some operations. We can store the matrix transpose in a variable for future processing. Let's try matrix multiplication now. 
As expected, multiplying a matrix with its transpose will yield a symmetrical matrix. Thanks for watching and please like, share and subscribe.